Hi people, thank you for watching. I'm here to describe you how to build a precise and fast peak detector using operational amplifiers. It's very useful in Arduino uh, projects where you need to follow the amplitude of a sine wave uh, on in some part of your circuit. So, uh, as you know, uh, this is your uh, uh, voltage, uh, input voltage. You can use an operational amplifier like that, okay, that has uh, two input, a positive and negative input, and an output. Let me say that uh, we send the, the, the signal to the positive input of the operational amplifier. So, as you know, the operational amplifier uh, uh, amplifies at maximum level, so with an infinite gain, the difference between the two inputs. So if you we see if we, we put the, the second up input that is a inverting input directly on the out, we will realize a feedback. This feedback uh, allows you to uh, obtain a voltage follower, so the output will follow exactly the input. But for our purposes, this is not uh, sufficient. So, first of all, connect your operational amplifier a negative power supply to ground in such a way you will realize a very very simple simple circuit you will not need two power supply a positive and a negative one you will need only a positive power supply so uh, this circuit works in such a way because go out is equal to an infinite gain, but it's not really infinite in the practical cases. Something like 10,000 or 1 million, by example, multiply the, the difference between the two inputs. So in one side we have Vu uh, in, but in the other side we have uh, a copy of Vu out, so we will write here the Vu out, uh, okay? And uh, we can write uh, this uh, equation uh, in this way v out uh, minus uh, uh, no plus plus g multiplied v out uh, equal to g multiplied v in so uh, v out uh, respect to g v out uh, is very very small and we can uh, it, uh, erase it from the formula, nothing changes because G is inf almost infinite, 1 million. Okay, let's remove this term from here and uh, as you see, you can also simplify the formula uh, eliminating also G on both sides of the equation. So what you have is uh, V, v out equal to V in. This is the voltage follower configuration. So I write here voltage follower. First modification. I inserted a diode here. As we know, the diode has a 0 0.7 volt for silicon diode of uh, uh, drop between uh, his uh, sides and uh, anode and cathode. But doesn't matter because the, uh, the, the negative input of the operational amplifier is always referred to V out. So this uh, mechanism still works. We have the second modification. We inserted a trimmer here between the output and the ground. This is a voltage divider that can be seen as two resistors R1 and R2 on the two sides of the trimmer. And the negative reference for the amplifier 
is skipped from the middle point of the streamer. So, how does the formula change? So, this is also our amplification factor. It can be uh, changed just moving the trimmer. And uh, yes, I added another component. Here I put a capacitor. Let me figure out that we have a signal like that. Okay. Well, uh, the capacitor will store the, uh, the voltage for a certain time and uh, it discharge into the trimmer itself. So it, the trimmer has two functions. One is uh, for to discharge the capacitor and the one is to regulate uh, the gain. Suppose we regulate the gain to one, by example, okay? So, in this case, uh, we will follow the, the voltage and uh, we will have something like that. Thereafter, a voltage uh, amplitude follower, so a peak detector. Now the circuit is complete. I added another uh, amplifier here just to adapt uh, the uh, low impedance of the Arduino ADC with the delicate equilibrium of uh, this uh, uh, component uh, that stores uh, voltage. We, we cannot connect it directly to Arduino because Arduino have a uh, uh, certain uh, low impedance uh, about 30 kilo ohm but uh, adding a second operational amplifier uh, uh, the, the measure will be very very precise so now let's go to the uh, oscilloscope to see what it occurs So this is uh, our uh, uh, circuit, here I applied the, the, the signal that goes to the uh, to our first trimmer that is not depicted in our circuit but uh, I use it, it just to regulate the amplitude of the voltage. Then uh, I measure it with the oscilloscope probe and I send it to the uh, a positive input of this amplifier. This is a LM358. This is the, the positive input, the negative input and then the output. So the, neg the negative uh, input uh, comes from the central pin of the trimmer we already depicted into the circuit. Uh, the, the two sides of the trimmer are one to ground and the other one uh, from the cathode of the diode that is connected to the output. So, uh, what, what uh, it occurs uh, uh, to, to this voltage, this is the capacitor that is connected on the ground on the other side and then uh, we go back to the uh, to the component this component uh, using the second operational amplifier this component has two operational amplifiers inside it's just a, a voltage follower and uh, the pin this pin here represents the output that is connected to another oscilloscope probe so the oscilloscope shown like something like that Let me see, changing the voltages on the input side. As you see, the yellow line follow the 
amplitude of the signal. This is our peak detector. We can also change, if we want, the amplification of uh, uh, the output to allow Arduino to follow, by example, very small signals. Thank you and uh, see you at, uh, on the next uh, tutorial. Bye bye!